Hey my lovelies, I'm in today we have got a little bit of something different that made sense. Okay, so I, just a warning, I am ill when I'm re recording this, so if my voice starts going then I apologise, but <laughs> I, it needed to be done. So I am going to do a little bit of a trailer reaction because the long awaited trailer for the sequel to Breath of the Wild. This is a really bad image. Hang on. See that? Oh, magic. I have floating legs. And really small, apparently. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a trailer reaction to Tears mm. of Shush Computer. You, you, can you not? It's really rude. Just don't. Bad. So we have doing a trailer reaction to The Tears of the Kingdom. I have seen it. I have seen the trailer, but I didn't really look into detail that much because I mean, I've done Zelda trailers before in the past and I kind of wanted to do it for this one considering I love Zelda and I've done it before. <laughs> so I'm apologizing if you're missing your usual stray video this week. I might upload it tomorrow for when I'm recording this. Not recording, uploading. Friday. We'll see. <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll uh, have a look. But this is I'm recording this a day after the trailer came out. So we're gonna we're gonna have to to see and I'll try and analyze it as much as I can. Um I'm not the best at doing analyzing stuff, but I'll try. So I think that's enough me just looking really small in the void. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get into this. Okay, so before we actually get into the actual video, I just want to have a look at the thumbnail that they've given us. This is the IGN thumbnail. So. I mean, just look at that new logo. That logo is... Uh, I'm going to focus on the logo more than anything else. But, you know, obviously we've got Leng over on the, on the right there. But the logo is completely different to what we've seen before. <laughs> so I don't know what the, the circle bit is. That's something that we'll probably have to find out. Um, but the sword? Have a look at that sword there. Master Sword's looking a bit funny. <laughs> so we've obviously got like the Breath of the Wild damaged Master Sword at the top, but then what is going on at the bottom here? Like, I don't, I don't know what's happening there. And then obviously we've got the main title, which again, following the Breath of the Wild style, it's got li little bits chipped away and stuff. So from looking at the trailer, from what I saw yesterday, I again haven't seen most of it. Well, I have seen mo all of it, but I haven't looked into it that much. Um, it's still Hyrule is still ruined, so I'm gonna say that that is basing off that with the the like the lettering style. So that is that. <laughs> what is going on with the sword? That looks like Shika technology. I don't know if that's and well, Shiga have been prominent in pretty much most uh, Zelda titles, especially in Breath of the Wild. So obviously they're gonna bring back the Shiga stuff. So yeah, we're gonna have to to wait and see what's wrong with the Master Sword. This is just the initial trailer, so we don't have much information just yet. But the master sword up here is definitely damaged because you can see it's kind of like rusted. And then there's this bit down here, which is really interesting. Maybe we're like gonna take apart the master sword or something and find out what's actually quote unquote power powering it. I don't I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see with the background image. Um, I have my suspicions on what it is. Or what it's going to be and what it's based off, but I'm not 100% sure because the Shiga colors are blue and yellow, right? So it could be Shiga along with the sword. We're not sure. We're going to have to wait and see, I think. So <laughs> enough stalling. We're already three minutes into trying to 
analyze the, <laughs> the main title but hey let's actually get into the video and we'll see so let's have a look at the video i'll try and analyze it as much as i can <laughs> but we'll we'll go through it first and then we'll we'll go back through So it's a really short trailer, but it gets us hyped. <laughs> We've been waiting for so long for this trailer, and the can anyone confirm whether the release date is in American style or UK style? Because <laughs> this, that's I don't know what it is. <laughs> is it the twelfth of May or the first of December? <laughs> but yeah, um, there's nothing else. So that's the trailer. There's not much to go by to be honest. Like um I mean half of it is done in the art style. And I'll like I'll go through the art style in a second because I know what art style it is. I think most people that have played Breath of the Wild know what art style it is. And then like it's like half of it is like the the stone carvings kind of art style and then the rest is gameplay. Which is really weird. But yeah, that gives me ideas on what Tears of the Kingdom is going to be based on. So... <laughs> I have a feeling that this is a very big clue. So... <laughs> yeah, the art style, if you haven't played Breath of the Wild, or if you have... Um, this is Zonai. This is, this is clearly Zonai. Like... Um, it's got all like this, the t spiral, the, like the squarey ang angular that's what angular <laughs> angular spirals so and this is from what i can guess is an owl so owls in the zone eye they're a big thing along with dragons and there was something else it's been a while since i played breath of the wild so <laughs> so yeah the owls are a big thing the dragons are a big thing, and there was some. There was another one that I've forgotten. That are also a big thing within the Zonai tribe. So, I honestly think from all of this stuff, from like the start of this trailer to midway, is saying this game is going to be based on the, or f more focused towards towards the Zonai tribe. So, I think. That is a very big thing. We've also got we get like these sparkly bits, which kind of say Shika. So I am a f I have a feeling we're gonna get a, like a a mix between Zonai and Shika. We're gonna have to to see because this is like Shika sparkles. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see with that. And then this is obviously. I'm going to guess that this is Hyrule Warriors, and then this is Link. But then again, we've got more up here. But, um, this is kind of hard to see. And then we've got one here. Uh, we've got humans, or oh, Hyruleans, sorry, <laughs> lying down in the battlefield. So I'm going to guess that there's going to be, or was, a war between the Hyruleans and the Bokoblins and Moblins. So... 
those are the only ones that we can see here. But from what I can see in this trailer, there aren't any guardians. From what I'm aware of. There might have been guardians in the original trailer, but this... I'm not sure. We're gonna we're gonna have to see. There might be guardians, there might not be. We'll have to see. So yeah, these are obviously the goblins, those are moblins. And these are a bit different. But we've got these ones up here as well. And these and this one. This one's kind of on its own, so I'm wondering if this is Link. <laughs> I'm not sure. So we're gonna have to kind of speculate about that a bit. And then we've got the markings on the floor. That's a bit interesting. Because these are red. So it's kind of like Ganondorf has corrupted the world again maybe? I don't know. Because everything that Ganondorf corrupted in... Oh, Ganon? Corrupted in Breath of the Wild turned red. So maybe he is corrupting the land? Because in the original trailer he is underground. He ain't looking in a good state. I'm not gonna lie. He's not looking good. So um, maybe he somehow corrupted the land. I'm, I don't know. It's kind of hard to, to guess. So yeah. It's a bit weird. So we've obviously got fallen Hy Hyrulians. And then we've got some Hyrulians that are fighting Moblins and Bicoblins and some up here, some down here. Yeah, it's a bit... What they've shown is quite big. And then what we're gonna see is the owl again. So yeah, this is definitely Zone I. So you can see the angle of squ uh, spirals. And then you've got these kind of like things over here which are kind of look like pillars that you see in Breath of the Wild. And we've got some writing down here. I don't know I don't know how to translate Zone Eye, so we're gonna have to again wait for that. But this is definitely writing down here. These lines, they look interesting. So is it me or do they, those lines kinda look like rain or meteors? Because they're kind of coming down, and this kind of looks like a god figure. So I'm just wondering if we delve into the history of the Zonai tribe and see the kind of things that they worship. So th obviously they've got the three animals, so the, the owl, the dragon, and the other thing that I can't remember. This kind of looks like a god figure because it's got his arms out. I don't know what these are. Maybe they're like powers. Well, yeah, this, this is interesting. So maybe this is like a god of the Zonai is causing some mischief because th these lines look weirdly threatening. Like I know that they're just lines, but they look weirdly threatening, especially when looking at this character's like pose. Because he's got his arms out, like ah, this is the wrath of my god. This is this is the wrath of my power. There was a kind of thought that the Zonai were kind of wiped out because obviously there aren't any Zonai in Breath of the Wild, uh, but there, there's lots of ruins. So I'm just wondering if there's something that has happened in the past that concerns like the gods of the Zonai that maybe they displeased their gods or something and the gods weren't happy with that or something, I don't know. This is just my speculation, I'm not sure. But there's obviously a reason why there weren't any Sonai in Breath of the Wild. But all of that infrastructure was still there. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see on that one. Because obviously there have been a lot of theories about the Zonai. Like we haven't, we've just heard their name and we've seen their infrastructure. So we don't actually know anything about them. So this is going to be interesting, like what happened to the Zonai? And these look like clouds. So these ones up here, they look like clouds. And then this, I have a strong feeling this is Zelda, but I'm not sure. It could be like a Zonai person, because this is very Zonai 
kind of outfit although we haven't actually seen a new zone eyes so i can't really say that but it's definitely not looking like zelda but zelda is the only one that i can really think of that would fit this kind of thing like Z zelda in the original trailer for this game had short hair this is obviously long hair and we've got a bit more red down here is there a bit more corruption hmm interesting we got another image of her. Is that the same one? It looks kind of similar. So this could also be Zelda. But they she's also kind of got this arm here, which is interesting. And more writing! So, yeah. This could be Zelda and this could be Link here. Because if you haven't watched the original trailer for this game, Link does have a bit of a weird arm. <laughs> And then we go into the actual game. So, I'm wondering if anyone can actually translate that. be interesting if this could get translated. It might be a really big hint. And then we go into the actual game. So, we have more spirals, which are circles. So, the non-angular circles, that is more Sheikah, not Zonai. And then we've got this door. Which is interesting. So the door is interesting. It looks like the opening title. So the the logo for this game. So it's got the circle and it's got these like figures at the top. So maybe that's a clue, I don't know. So obviously Tears of the Kingdom is based in the sky. So it's going by uh, Skyward Sword standards. Hi Link, how are you? So with Link, he's got like this little thing down here. I'm wondering what that is. He's got a bow. So we've obviously got weapon collecting again. Um, he's still in the blue, which again is interesting. He's got like little like vials or, so or something on his waist. So he doesn't have the Shuka slate anymore. But I do know from the original trailer, didn't he have the Shuka slate? again so i think we're getting the sheikah slate back but he's got these like vials here of blue stuff that's interesting but that's the same color as the the logo again he doesn't have the master sword so i'm guessing we've got to find the master sword again so we are like ruins and stuff up here so he's obviously in the sky up here considering he's jumping down um, ooh, we've got this structure right here. That's interesting. I don't know what this would be. I don't recognize that type of in infrastructure. I don't think it's Zonai. Not without looking at it up close. And then we've got like a little structure here as well. It's very interesting. Like, they are going for the Skyward Sword kind of... Um, layout kind of game with the the sky islands the floating islands but we don't really know what's happened here other than that everything <laughs> raised to the sky um but i honestly think that this game is actually good <laughs> but i honestly think this game is actually going to be massive considering you've got all the sky islands and the surface because you see in a moment when he's flying down, there's a bit of a, a land down there. But I don't know what this is. I'm just wondering if the game is going to be focused on the Zonai. If it's the Zonai stuff that raises all the land up. It's going to be hard to say. But yeah, this is a really weird structure. So he dives down. Which is weird. Because usually in Zelda games... Link doesn't dive down unless there's water below. So I'm going to guess that this little bit that he's just jumped off. There's water below it. <laughs> so yeah, he's diving down. We've got like a little tail of a island here, which kind of looks man-made. It doesn't look like it's... natural. 
So yeah, I don't think this looks natural. This looks weird. So then we got the the power. So I don't know at this point he's got the Shrieker Slate. I can't see it properly. But you know, he's got the power. I don't know what the power would be called, but it was seen in the original trailer, but it's kinda like you change the time of something so it could be something to do with going back in time so it could be along the lines of ocarina of time we'll never know well we will know but <laughs> not right now on this rock you can see like patterns and stuff which again is interesting we've got a cave in the background um i don't know what's up here it's interesting and then yeah we've got like the time manipulation thing but I think that's mostly his hand. Because he gets a really weird hand in this game. I don't know if the Shiga Slate is in this. We'll have to see. There's a lot of speculation with this trailer. <laughs> so yeah, you've got like... <laughs> you can see all the floating islands and stuff. So this looks like... Uh, is it, it wouldn't be Lanayru. But the, the tropical place. we got like a little box here. <laughs> you can't. We got one of these. So yeah, seeing him coming up looks like this is the way that we get up to the Sky Islands. We got like a, a weird inf shape here. I don't know if that's two islands one beside each other, but we we'll have to see. And then we've got like this really big cloud. Kind of looks like the uh, Sky Sword Cloud. This is where we get to see. The big whale from Skyward Sword. Again, I forgot what he's called. <laughs> so we've got more climbing. This looks like one of the Sky Islands because it's cut off. But then we've got this island or land below it, which is interesting. So we've obviously got more climbing. And oh no, it's not rain. I kind of hope we don't get a climbing rain thing again. That was just really annoying. So we've got the volcano in the background. Ooh, what's this? That's interesting. I don't know what that is. But this is like another corrupted thing. Hmm. That looks like a really big Shiga shrine. It's, I don't think it would be Hyrule Castle because in the original trailer we saw Hyrule Castle rise. But it's weird. But it's definitely got like the Shika kind of artwork design thing on it. And it's obviously red, so Ganondorf been busy. <laughs> and then we've got an island here with some ruins on it, and we've got islands in the background. And this massive island over here. It's not moving, so it's definitely something that has been like Shika technology that has been corrupted by Ganondorf. And then we've got that. <laughs> okay. This looks like Zonai. So I think that we're going to delve into like Zonai technology in this game. So maybe that's what the hand is. Or the arm, not just the hand. And this looks kind of Zonai as well. And then we've got the title. So the Tizer does look so nice. But looking at this, it's kind of similar colours. That's sword though. Actually, what's in the background? Oh, so we've got another image of the the two people with the hands. So this one. So that's the the girl, and this is the guy who I'm assuming is Zelda and Link. So I think with this game we're gonna be delving into the Zonai, obviously. <laughs> so I think it's gonna be a mix between Zonai and Shika. Hmm. There's lots. There's lots of speculation with this. I'm not really sure 
what direction they're going to go with this. Apparently it's going to be so much darker than Breath of the Wild was. I want to know what this means. This writing! But yeah. Um, there's a lot of speculation and I'm actually really looking, looking forward to it. Can please someone translate this mistake this for me? <laughs> if we're going by UK, it's going to be the 5th of December. I don't want it to be the 5th of December. I want it to be the 12th of May. Can <laughs> someone just tell me? I need to know. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. There's nothing else at all. So, just gonna come back to the, the fancy owl person. So, yeah, please tell me your speculations and theories down below. I'd be really interested. And yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to this game. We've been like. We've been waiting for this game for so long. <laughs> we need this game. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to leave you there guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It means a lot of the amount of support that you give me. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection